Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to be doing a duty belt tour. Alright, so the first thing we have on our belt is my Daisy BB gun. It's a Daisy 415, pretty sure. Yep. Uh, I, I keep orange tape on it so I, people know it's a BB gun. It's not a real gun. Um, has green sights on it. Um, then on the end, this is your safety off. On. Okay, so that's it. Um, because it shoots metal BBs, metal round BBs, it does not have any black on the end, so that's why I put orange tape on it because it's never loaded in my duty belt. Um, to put the CO2 in it, you just unhook that little thing on the end. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that. And then to load it with the BBs, you put them in that slide right there. Alright, so let's put that back in it right there. Actually I'll take I'll keep all our things out so then you guys can see a big selection. Alright the second thing we have are our R and R handcuffs. Um hinged handcuffs. Road trigger river tactical. They're hinged handcuffs. They work pretty good. Uh the only thing I don't like about them is they're pretty small. Like they fit on my hands, they fit on my twenty one year old cousin's hands. But they don't fit on my dad. They fit on my mom's hands and stuff, but they don't fit on my dad's hands because my dad has big wrists, so they don't fit on him. But yeah, they're pretty good handcuffs. I do like them a lot. Um, I think for my next handcuffs, I'm gonna get. I think I'm gonna get the chain link. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get uh, shiny silver or black out, but I'll probably get black out. I don't know. Maybe shiny silver. Okay, so that's the case that I'm staying. Right there. Alright, then over here, we have our pepper spray, which is a bottle of Axe Cologne with orange tape on it. If I can get off this thing, it's because of the tape, it's not coming off easy. But, little spray can. Pretty cool to have. I like it. It kind of looks cool. It's pepper spray. But yeah. That goes in there. Alright, then over here, I have my tactical knife. Police knife. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a 3 inch blade. Pretty cool knife. To close it, you just push that down right there. So you push it down, then you just kind of bend it. Um, if the graphics and the, um, sound is not that good, it's because I'm filming on my iPhone 7 Plus. So I just want to let you guys know that. Alright, so the next one, this is just kind of a supporter thing if you have a lot more things that kind of makes your belt heavy. Because right now, I mean, I don't have a lot of things. Like, I do, but I don't. It's filled up. Almost only one compartment, which is that little one right there, is not filled up. So, it's pretty heavy, but I don't need the supporter. Over here, we have our cuff keys. In the hideaway, um, little kind of pouch. It's not really a hideaway pouch, but you kind of just stick your keys behind there, keep them in so they're not dangling around. Over over here, we have our rubber medical gloves. I'm just gonna keep them in there. They're not that important. But yeah. Over here, we have my 21 inch um, night. I'm not sure what brand it is, but it's baton. Pretty cool baton, steel baton works pretty cool the only thing I do not like about it is the first stage when you're putting it down is good but then the second stage it doesn't go down so you kind of have to bring it up a few times and then it will eventually go down but we'll keep it extended for the look it goes in this little thing right here even though it did come with its personal case that had like a strap over it but I couldn't get it on my thing so I keep it in there for it's really good in there and here nothing empty patch but next to it, I have my flashlight. Um, it's a J5 tactical flashlight, same one as security officers and police. some police officers might use. It's a pretty bright flashlight. You can scale it. You just move the end. But yeah, I kind of like it on that. Oh, that's the scale. I like it. Where's my scale? Right there. Put it that way. That will keep it up. So that's these. And then over here I have my 
Actually, we'll go to the other side of my bed. Over here, I have my airsoft vest. Um, it's kind of like, I use it as like a bulletproof vest, even though it's not really a bulletproof vest. I'd like to invest it in a bulletproof vest, but this does the job for now. Um, I have my cool badge holder thing on it. Um, it has the chain on the back so you can go around your neck and it opens up if you want to like put it on your belt. But I have it clipped on to the pouch right here. I have my 511 tactical flag patch right there. Velcro, then I have a quick clip kind of for just looks mostly. On the back, two things holder. I'm actually getting um, police and fugitive recovery agent patches for the vest. It's gonna be pretty cool. Okay. And over here, we have our Udian. Uh, radio. I do not have my um, key mic radio on me right now. It's similar to this one, but my dad gave it to me because he's a firefighter and they got new ones, so he gave me his old one. But I do not have it right here. This is just a police scanner. Turns on. You just hit the power button like real quick to turn off the lighter on. But then if you want to shut it off, you hold the power button. Um, to hold, you hold it on a channel. So right now I have it on channel 2, which is Trouton Police, my police town. Then if you scroll to channel 1, that's F Trouton Fire, Trouton Police, Tr um, Oxford Police. All the way up to 12. 2, okay. Then if you hit scan, all the channels up to 12 from 1 to 12 will go on. Police, fire, air patrol, whatnot. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, to change the volume on it, you hit it down. You can change the volume. It goes up to 15, I think. Yep. I keep it at 9 most of the time. 9 or 10, 12, any of those. I, I actually do like the scanner a lot. It's really nice. It has the clip on the back. It does come with a uh, wristband, so if you want to like hold it on your wrist or something, you can, but I, it's kind of a cheap wristband because it was like mesh and it started like fraying, but it goes right there. Um, a lot of people said I should keep it on my duty belt, but I actually usually keep it on my vest. It clips in right there. Just like that right there. Oh man, I just open up. The Velcro on this is very like tough to open. Ugh. Especially with one hand. But you guys get the idea. It just kind of clips on to the Velcro. It goes further like around there but yeah so that is my police duty belts and vest i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to smack the like button and subscribe and i will catch you guys on the next video